welcome back everyone so switching to a different browser can be really hard but if you know that browser very well like its feature and uses then it's better to have an alternate browser on your computer so in this video i will be talking about the arc browser that you can enjoy on windows and mac operating system but to be very honest i want to recommend you this browser if you're looking for an alternate option that should be a fastest browser because this browser is not fast as compared to google chrome but still if you want an alternate browser that should have simple interface new features with less problem then you can surely enjoy this browser so without any delay let's quickly get started in order to download the browser you will have to come to this website arc.net and here you can download for windows 11 or you can download for a mac operating system so i will go with windows here so i will simply click on it and it will be quickly downloaded so click on the downloaded file and it will be quickly downloaded and bring up this kind of dashboard okay so this is the navigation this is how it look like and you will find their navigation bar on the left hand side and in order to browse any website you have to enter the url over here and the moment you click on it it will give you some kind of suggestion like you can bring up uh, youtube directly from here and here on the address bar only you get many different options like if you click on this site control center so here you can look over the extensions the picture in picture that you can enable or disable uh, once you click on the three dot from here only you can clear the cache cookies you can manage extension you can add extension and you can also visit all site settings okay now let's talk about their popular feature so on the left hand side you will find few options here you can open a different kind of website and here only you can create different kind of spaces so if i click on the new space so you can see that it came up with a new space and these spaces can be different depending that what kind of categories you browse like you can keep something for entertainment something for work something for gaming so you can create different kind of a space and in order to create it you will have to click on this arc icon then you need to hold up on spaces and you can click on new space now whatever name you want to give like entertainment you can give that name and if you want to change the theme then you can click on the theme section from here you can adjust the brightness you can change the color of the theme whatever you want to once you are done you can click on create a space and now you can start adding different kind of website that you want it should be added in this particular space now in future you can also make some changes like you can right click on it you can rename the space you can edit the color theme you can set the profile you can create a new folder inside this space you can share the space you can also export this folder into different space and you can also delete it and in order to switch between different spaces you will have to click on this uh, dot icon at the bottom and you can switch to different kind of a space additionally there are many more options like if i click on the arc icon here so you can set arc as a default browser you can check for the update and you can also manage the extension and by default you will be getting the ublock origin extension that will be helping you to block all kind of advertisement so now let's open any kind of website here like i will bring up youtube only so once the website comes up on the left hand side you will find their icon here now you can move this website on the top to pin on the top section and you can also bring up at the bottom all right and now if you right click on it you can move this particular website to different space and all the spaces will be listed over here and now probably you might have a question that you will always find this navigation on the left hand side now you can also switch to a full screen mode for that you have to click on this icon that says toggle sidebar and you can see that the screen has been moved to the full screen a part of that you get many other options like you can also split the screen for that on the right hand top you will have to click on this split view option and it will ask you at right split or left side so wherever you want to add like i will add on the right hand side so i will select it then i have to open that particular website that i want on the right hand side so for this again i will bring up google and you can see now the second screen is coming up now this can be really useful if you want to work on multiple uh, browser at the same period of time and even if you have the bigger screen and not only two again you can click on it add right url again open up any website 
and this will be split it into three different screen so this is another benefit useful feature that i got on this browser now in order to bring up the navigation bar at the left hand side again you have to click on toggle sidebar and the navigation bar will be coming on the left hand side now let's talk about their settings if i click on the arc icon then click on settings and now here you can add a different profile and once you have added any profile you need to click on it and from here you can manage many kind of settings like search engine you can manage here you want to go with google yahoo DuckDuckGo, or microsoft bing you can include search engine suggestion if you want to disable you can disable it and a part of these option if you want to additionally enjoy the other kind of settings like clearing the browsing data managing privacy and security password so you can manage from the below link all right so that's all guys for today hopefully you found this arc browser really useful i really like the navigation and their features and if you want to enjoy any other alternate browser then you can go with this browser let me know your feedback about this browser and i see you in the next video Bye bye